moved to uh, London life, which, uh, which I was Tina. Pretty much since being a child, I had a, a very a great fascination for Far Eastern art. But as a, in the West, there, there aren't many uh, ways to, to really um, explore and study these uh, specific um, methods and these, uh, um, these conservation uh, approaches. The idea of uh, the scrolls of Asian paintings was a, comp a dream to me. And, um, and this is when I realized that in, in the Western world there were not many opportunities. So when I attended the conservation school in Italy, um, I was given the opportunity to approach some Asian paintings, but without any knowledge of them. And that's when I understood that um, this was the path I wanted to, I wanted to, to take uh, to learn about these techniques. And the only way to do that was it's really to, to be able to be followed by an by a Asian master, Asian teacher. So when the opportunity came to come to the British Museum, I, I was, uh, I couldn't believe. And for me, it was like um, learning a new culture, really. Um, in a way, forgetting about the Western background and start, uh, start new. Perhaps I should be explaining about the Iriyama Studio in the British Museum. Um, it's a very unique space. There are only a few spaces like this in the world. Thanks to people like Mrs. Chu, we are taught to um, learn the, the techniques and to really maintain a very high the, the respect of these traditions. And, um, and, and the approach towards conservation, the complexity of our work is really understanding um, th th in depth the culture, history of these objects. And um, what I've been told since day one by Chulasho is really um, to have a huge respect for the tradition in conserving these, uh, these objects. This is why we use all authentic materials and all the uh, techniques that are passed on from teachers to teachers, from generation to generation. And this is what uh, us, the newer generation, feel on our shoulder is the importance to, to, to continue, to continue this legacy. Um, this is the most important thing. The importance of um, the Chinese tradition and conserving Chinese paintings in a Western museum it's that um, the care for the culture is essential and this is something that actually is very much integrated in, the, in, in our teacher. It's to really um, have huge respect for the historical importance of the object. Hello, my name's Carol Weiss. I've been working here at the British Museum for 13 years now. I first discovered paper conservation actually at university during my first degree. I studied English literature. I'd say, um, as Valentina said, the responsibility of this work can sometimes weigh on you in terms of carrying on um, Trilash's legacy here in the museum, her incredible legacy of all the paintings that she's treated over so many years. Yes, how these paintings and, the, and the, their ability to be displayed, their preservation is really in the hands of, of scroll mounters. So that responsibility can weigh heavy. In terms of what's most rewarding, I think as a conservator, you get really fantastic before and after images um, in the, with the work that we do. You can really see a, a dramatic transformation, um, bringing these paintings back to life, removing you know, those, the appearance of those creases that can be quite distorting to the eye. I was lucky enough to spend three months um, training at Shanghai Museum myself, which was an incredible opportunity. Um, all all I had to focus on, concentrate on, was my scroll mounting and trying to improve my language there and obviously got to enjoy all the amazing food and people were so friendly. It was one of the most um, special times of my life actually. I, I, I loved being out there and I learned so much. Wajachi 
有一点是跟中国的学生有点不同，因为文化不同，所以呢接受能力也不同。但是后来慢慢的沟通，他们呢开始的时候一点也不懂中国修复的方法，但是我呢就是慢慢的这个教他们基本功，啊、呃，也跟他们说你们要学习这这个这个中国的那个修复工作呢。也要那个学会讲中文，能够学呃学一点中国的那个历史、历中国的艺术，所以他们呢多去学那个中文，在国国外学那个修复方法，他们基本上用的都是日本纸，日本纸呢是皮纸，纤维长，所以比较容易；我们中国纸纤维短，比较疏，那个呃不老，所以呢。如果要用中国宣纸的话，基本上一定要有基本功，才能那个用中国宣纸。所以我开始教他们的时候呢，就他就请他们就是刷纸，还有呢，每天就是用手，这个在墙上用排笔就是刷刷五轴，这是基本功，手腕要软。染了以后呢，这个纸就不坏，不太容易刷坏。如果手腕这个硬硬的，那个很容易刷破纸。所以呢，第一个基本功，每天就是要在墙上或者在台子上用五轴来刷刷那个墙壁，练基本功。然后练练好以后呢，他们做下面的工作就方便了。我就是从一步一步来教他。